Well, Ananda's mud crews are at work repairing that power pole uh, that was down by a car crash earlier. Now, the driver telling us that it happened as he swerved to avoid hitting a person in the street. Bags of vegetables were strewn across the Toyota Corolla after it crashed into a power pole around 5 p.m. Sunday outside the Auto Zone on Fruit Ridge Road near Stockton Boulevard. You could feel the electricity coming through the ground a little bit. It kind of felt like an earthquake for a few moments uh, inside this store, a few feet away from it. Auto Zone manager Brandon Ziegler and his team rushed outside the pole, falling over the company's fleet. They were surprised to see no one was physically hurt. And sparks were everywhere, going in the street, and the driver hopped out the vehicle. Ziegler, a veteran, checked on the driver who remained at the scene, telling ABC 10 he had swerved to avoid hitting a person in the middle of the busy road, thankful to be alive. The crash site was several blocks away from one of the city's Vision Zero Priority Corridors on Stockton Boulevard, which had one of the highest number of fatal and serious crashes involving pedestrians, cyclists and drivers. The city saying one out of every four pedestrians hit by cars were in the road. Ziegler says while no one appeared to be physically hurt, businesses felt the pain. And unfortunately, while we're down for business, all the business on the street around power now, Now, the AutoZone did have to close for the day, and they hope to reopen for business as usual by 7.30 tomorrow morning. Now, Smud had estimated that this would be all repaired and restored by 11 o'clock, but obviously that timeline will have to be pushed back. Meanwhile, the police investigators are telling us that the their focus in their investigation is what caused this crash, but that confirmation won't be available for some time. All right, thank you so much, Van.